Are you looking at yourself in the mirror? No. I remember seeing Cody didn't think that I was going to out to see if I was bigger. And look, come here, Cody. Look how big compared. Here, flip the light on. Other one. <laughs> Is that how small you are? Well, what do you think of your outfit for the first day of school? I love it. Do you like it? Well, what about mine? You'll get dressed this afternoon for school. So Olivia insisted on the blue, pink, sparkly shoes. And she put these pants on this morning and she goes, oh my gosh, mom, did you, are these supposed to be here? I'm like, yes, the rips are supposed to be there. <laughs> Looks cute. Give me a big second grade twirl. Cutie tootie. <laughs> Do you guys see your new special backpack hooks? Mm -hmm. yeah. So this one's, this one's mine, this one's Cody's. Sure. And look. When Boston and Cody get big enough, they'll have their own hooks. And then, look. Wait, Mama. Your three. Those are for like your uh, snow pants and oh, stuff. Oh, I got a great idea. So Boston's Lincoln's, Olivia's Cody's, and Mama. we have a couple Mama. more babies. No, <laughs> we will not be having a couple more babies. Mommy. And don't you ever talk Mama. like that again. <laughs> what, what, what? A hook pat pat. I think that's a good idea. Are you giving him an eraser and a pencil? But what about homework for me? Your teacher will give it to you. Cody, Cody and I are having a very big debate, aren't we? So I bought him cowboy boots to wear to school and he really wants to wear them with pants, which is fine, but his pants haven't got here yet. And the pants that he's been wearing Mama, last year. Okay, go, go in the bathroom and go potty. They're about this much above his ankle. And so, <laughs> I have no pants for him to wear and the ones he wants to wear are ridiculously scraggly. It's important for me for the kids to look good when they go to school, but I think what's more important, like he has his heart set on wearing those cowboy boots. I think I'm gonna let you wear your cowboy boots with old scraggly pants. It's not a fun choice. It might seem like such a stupid thing, but like, I want him to look nice on the first day of school, and he wants to look like an old cowboy. <laughs> Don't you? As long as you wear the collared shirt I got you, how about that? You wear the collared shirt that you don't want to wear, and I'll let you wear whatever pants you want with your cowboy boots, okay? You wear my little hat. Get them. And they're not even yours. Those are Boston's. Those are Boston's. Mama, where did you get this underwear Mom, for? Mama, look, see? Put it on. It's about right there. Mom, where did you get these underwears? Me and Dad picked them out. And I'm really hungry. Wait, <laughs> wait, Mom, you know what Dad's toys that he said that I saw? Look how like, cute the kids' new underwear is. So these are the pants that Cody wants to wear. At least they fit him in the waist. With room to spare, it's like, come on, people. Ugh. I'm hoping that the Oshkosh pants that I ordered you will work. What are you looking for? A shirt. No, you're going to wear the shirt I got you. Hop down. <laughs> are you surprised he's wearing green underwear? What this is the kid's is new underwear. It? It's in my bedroom. We'll go get it. Now, you have to wear socks with cowboy boots. You can't wear them barefoot, okay? Why? Because your feet will get too sweaty. Hop down. Wait, where's my dog shirt ones? I don't know. <laughs> Can we show everyone how handsome you look? Come stand over here. Well, I'll help you find it. Wow. Well, you can't go to kindergarten with a scowl on your face. You're scowling. I'm going to help you find it. I'll help you find it. <laughs> show everyone. <laughs> We won't show them our secrets. We won't show them that we hid your capris in your boots. <laughs> yep, he's wearing Boston's old pants. Okay, let's go find your backpack and we're gonna go to school. Let's get you to school. 
Well, you guys, I did it. I got Cody off to kindergarten. He is in the afternoon kindergarten. So now, Olivia and Cody are off to school, and it's just going to be Co Boston, the Hulk, and Lincoln. That's it. Lincoln I just have the two at home. America. Is Lincoln Captain America? Are you Captain America? Um, Joel was so sad that he wasn't able to um, take Cody to his first day of kindergarten. He is off starting new and bigger projects. And so he couldn't be here today. He was kind of sad. Mm. But, well, and then he said, did you record it? He's like, oh, that's okay. I'll be able to watch you in the video. And I said, I didn't record at the school because I don't want to record at the school. And he's like, what? He's like, oh. So he kind of felt bad that I didn't record and that he couldn't be here. But that's okay. That's okay. The kids, I'm sure, will come home and tell us all about it. Yes. Can I have another bread? You want another piece of bread? Yeah. You don't want peanut butter on it? Yeah, just bread. Just bread. Can you go and get me that right now? Uh huh. Right now. <laughs> oh, it surprises it, Hulk smash. It surprises me that kids can live off of bread and milk. I swear that's what Boston lives off of. I am so excited that it's just us here at the house. This is going to be fun. And I think we're going to take lots and lots of group naps. No. That's what I think. That's what I see no. in our future is group naps. No. Sounds wonderful. I don't want to take a nap. You never want to take a nap, but you always take a really, really good one. But I don't want to take a good one, just a bad one. A bad one? How about a BB one? You want to take a little BB one? Bad one. <laughs> and, yeah. and your bed. Yeah. You could take a nap on my bed. See how he compromises? I love it. I'm like, sure, we can take a nap on my bed. Not a treat. We'll go get some lunch. How about we go get some carrots? <gasps> that sounds yummy. Yeah. Okay, we'll go get some carrots. walking in the house and he came walking right past me and he goes where's dad and I said I don't know I said he's in the bedroom I said what do you need and I just need dad and so I said go sit on dad's lap he came and found Joel and what did he tell you he's like uh I, I crashed into the apple tree I know the four-wheeler doesn't work and it like immediately got up <laughs> thinking he'd gone through my bishop's wade so you can see the four-wheeler out there. He crashed into the pear tree. But what I think is hilarious is that he needed to come and tell you. He didn't, I mean, doesn't matter. Mom thinks in this position. Let me go get my shoes. Let's go. <laughs> I think it's funny that he came to get you. We've got our uh, mason guy here, and he's going to get ready to tile this. He's just prepping it. He's not going to actually be doing any of the tiling. So, anyway. He's here doing that and my goodness, I want to hear everything about school. These guys are having a cookie and a string cheese and a juice that grandpa left for you. Guess what? We saw the huge spider in our classroom. It was like in the corner and guess what? Um so when we went to so it was like it was hanging out, spider was like this. Then a minute later when we came back from prep, it was like this. <laughs> I'm so glad you're home, Cody. I missed you. And I had a mosquito in my class bit me. It didn't bite you. You totally just made that up. Did it bite you? Uh, or did you just see a mosquito? Like I saw one like <laughs> bite so like oh. You're such a no, I saw typical it. kindergartner. It bit me. Did it really bite you? No, it didn't bite me. <laughs> Well, I'm happy to have you guys home. I'm happy. The other two are taking naps. And guess what? I all day I was waiting to pick up Cody. Aww. I was really wanting to. Are you glad you saw her at the end of school? <laughs> Me too. What you guys working on? I'm on the four wheeler because it's not working. You're working on the four wheeler because it's not working. Yeah. Oh. It's really hard for me to turn it. Is it? 
struggling. Yeah, you think you can fix this, Dad? <laughs> fix it, Felix. Got a golden hammer. <laughs> well, you don't have a golden hammer. Well, while you guys are fixing this, I'm going to tell these guys a little something, something. Tonight is... Okay. <laughs> Tonight is Olivia's very first piano lesson. What do you think, Olivia? I'm excited, but I really want to lay down. Olivia's tired. Today's been a big day for her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I'm like so tired. Hey, Dad, look at my fingers. <laughs> look at your fingers, bud. Ooh, can I rip one of your fingers off? No! So, second grade, I'm gonna come over here in the sun where it's not so bright. Let the light adjust to me. Second grade is a really big deal because in second grade, all of me and my siblings started piano lessons when we were in second grade. And we played the piano all the way until we were high school, until we were in high school. I stopped when I was a junior in high school, and the rest of my siblings. Yeah, it was 18. 18 was your mom's rule, I thought. Yeah, I stopped just a hair early. I think my mom was sick of paying for lessons that I was not practicing for. <laughs> so she let me stop a little bit sooner. But the thing that is really, really cool about Olivia starting today is we had our piano teacher that lived down the street. So we walked to piano lessons every week and we always heard about the Logan students. She would drive down to where we lived once a week and she always talked about her Logan students. Well, Olivia is now a Logan student. She is going to be taking from the same piano teacher that I had. Her name was Louise. And I am trying my absolute hardest not to get emotional about this. Louise, like when people say, who's the most influential woman in your life? Besides my mom and grandma, she is it. Like she, I love her so much. I saw her once a week for an hour my entire life my entire growing up. She was just such a big part of my life. Like, she taught life lessons like, I don't know, performing in front of people and just like, we talked. Do you know how many times we talked about you at my piano lesson? Right. <laughs> when Olivia and I walked in, she said, is she gonna be pretty? And I said, yeah, she's gonna be pretty. And she was just, I think there's a bird up there that Olivia's concerned with, but she is as pretty as I remember her. It was so good coming in here and, um, I don't know, just reminiscing. It was fun because, Ew. it's a bee. Ew. Okay, we had, to, we had to hurry and come out in the suburban because there was a bee and it was freaking Olivia out. Oh yeah. Like, and, like there was something in like the roof, like it was like we saw a bee fall down, like yeah. its head was chopped off. <laughs> yeah, that was that was making her alone. I was come sit right over here. I'm not letting her sit in the front. I'm just letting her talk with me up here. Come sit up here with me. Anyway, it was so special to be in Louise's home and to see her teach you. I remember my first lesson as clear as day. And don't be surprised if you see me pick up lessons too, because it's just I don't know, it's just, it's a wonderful teaching tool. So anyway, we are gonna close the vlog here because it's past your bedtime. We're gonna go home, get ready for bed so we can have a good day at school tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you guys so much for coming along and being a part of our amazing journey in life, huh? Yep, okay, thanks guys, bye.